Hey, welcome to the book of Exodus today. We are in Exodus 25, and uh, now we're going to go to verse 9, and just verse 9 today. Here's the reading of verse 9. According to all that I am going to show you as the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all of its furniture, just so you shall construct it. Okay, so this uh, God is asking his people to build a sanctuary. He's going to dwell in their midst. And here we see that this isn't just, uh, you know, make me a spot. No, God has a pattern. It's a very particularized pattern here. According to all that I'm going to show you, the pattern of the tabernacle, the pattern of the sanctuary, there's a pattern. Moses is receiving, so to speak, a blueprint. It's supposed to be built this way, not that way, this way. Not according to the different pagan ones, but according to the way that I, God, am telling you to build it, he says. Now, this is an especially interesting item here because... You know, uh, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian. We believe that the sanctuary, the tabernacle on earth, is a copy of the one in heaven. And there's no Christian church out there that I know of, really, except the Seventh-day Adventist church that actually uh, goes into that, actually teaches that as a Bible teaching. So it's interesting to me. I just wanted to read to you from, uh, which one was it, Stewart or Hamilton here? Let me read to you from Stewart's commentary, page 565. Now, Stewart's not at all a Seventh-day Adventist. He's just a scholar. He's studying here. And he asks this question. Does this, therefore, mean that there is another tabernacle, a heavenly one, of which the earthly one was a symbol? His response, his answer is, indeed, one must surely understand Hebrews 9, 11, and 12 in such a way. So, solved, done. He says, of course, yeah. The earthly sanctuary is a pattern, according to verse 9, it's patterned on the heavenly sanctuary. And here's a scholar who's just saying it bare naked, saying it in the open. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we believe that. And when you go to Hebrews chapter 9, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> so, yeah, he's just saying, yeah, that's what the Bible says. So I'm not saying he teaches the whole thing, you know, as we do, but I'm just saying it's it's interesting to see that somebody's saying, well, yeah, yeah, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. There's a blueprint. This is copying something. It's a representation. Surely it's a little bit smaller than the one in heaven. Not as many millions of angels and things here. So, uh, so yeah, this is small. This is like uh, small. We'll, we'll get into the dimensions. We'll, we'll look at the dimensions, but this is very small. This is like something in a trailer park. Hey, and I did want to read to you from the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, just to uh, remind you, um, I mean, we talk, talk about 9, but let's read from Hebrews 8 here for a moment, and let's see what that says, just to, just to refresh for ourselves. Uh, what does God tell us through the book of Hebrews? Just five verses here, 8, 1 to 5. Now, the main point of what has been said so far, the first seven chapters of the book of Hebrews, is this. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary, and in the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched, not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices, so it is necessary that this high priest also have something to offer. Now, if he were on earth, he would not be a priest at all, since they are those who offer the gifts according to the law, who serve a copy and shadow of the heavenly things, just as Moses was warned by God when he was about to erect the tabernacle. For see, he says, that you make all things according to the pattern which was shown you on the mountain. Yeah, so to help you get that. Yeah, the author of the book of Hebrews, I believe is Paul, um, is telling us, hey, Moses is getting instructions to build it according to the pattern. This is the, the heavenly pattern, the, the real one, and the one on earth is, a, is patterned after the, the reality in heaven. So a beautiful piece here that we're getting. We're getting some really detailed teaching here from God through his servant Moses to, to all of us who will read in here and to recognize that God dwells in a holy place and he is calling us to be holy people as well. So we'll just leave it there for now and come back uh, tomorrow morning. We'll talk some more about the sanctuary.